couple of questions related to the pH formula, maybe working backwards here. Now we have the pH, 2.67, and you're asked to find the hydronium ion concentration in the solution. Well, you know the pH formula is pH equals negative log hydronium, so to find the hydronium, you work it backwards. And here's what the formula would be. The formula is going to be that the hydronium ion concentration in solution equals the anti-log. Now you're going to say, well, isn't that the inverse log or the second function log? Yeah, in your calculator it is, but it's called the anti-log. Anti-log. The anti-log of the negative pH. I like to put that in brackets, negative pH, because I want to tell you that it's, you, you can't punch in the pH and then make it a negative. It's a negative pH. So when you actually want to calculate the hydronium ion concentration here, when you've got the pH, you take the anti-log of negative 2.67. So when you actually do that here, you take the anti-log of negative 2.67, you actually get 0 decimal 0, I'm just going to find that for you, 0 decimal 0021. <laughs> 0 decimal 0021. Now why did you do it? Chem guy, three sig digits. No! No! No significant digits in front of the decimal and the pH. All the digits that are significant are behind the decimal. One, two significant digits, two numbers, two significant digits. Two significant digits, so you keep two significant digits in the concentration that you just calculated for the hydronium 0.0021 is two significant digits. Be sure to put moles per liter, MOL over L, or big M, or MOL to the uh, negative liters, because that means moles per liter. And in IV chemistry, moles per liter is also written as decimeter cubes. Uh, that's going to be the liter part and to the negative three so that's actually going to be um, that's per liter and then they write uh, moles per decimeter cubed and that's moles per liter don't ask now what about this one this is kind of weird L look at this the kw of water is 1.14 times 10 to the negative 15 at zero degrees celsius i told you that the K for water at 1 times 10 to the negative 14 is at 25 degrees Celsius. The K value is temperature dependent. It always is. So here's the thing. At 0 degrees Celsius, if water's KW is this, what's the pH of water? Well, you're going to say, well, pH of water is 7. It's always 7. Nope. Because the KW always equals the concentration of the hydronium times the concentration of the hydroxide. Do you like that bracket? Ooh. Now, that means here that 1.14 times 10 to the negative 15 equals those two there. And if they're both the same concentration at equilibrium, they're both x, so that's x squared. So look, if you wanted to calculate the pH, you're going to take the, the uh, take, wait, wait, see, if you wanted the hydronium here, that you take the square root of that number, and that equals x, right? And so x is the hydronium ion concentration. And so... If we take the negative log of the square root of this number, 1.14 times 10 to the negative 15, that's, the, that's going to be the square root of that is the hydronium ion concentration. Negative log is the pH. And you know what you get when you punch that into your calculator? You get 7.47. Wait a minute. You get 7.472 because three significant digits, three numbers after the decimal. Now you're going to say, well, that means this then. That when I've got ice cold water, ice sitting in my water, and it's ice cold and I'm drinking it, then I'm drinking a base. No, you're not. You're drinking something that's completely neutral. That's the new neutral. See, water's only neutral at a pH of 7 at 25 degrees Celsius. When water isn't at that temperature, the neutral changes. Anything higher than this number is a base, but anything lower than this is an acid. So if you were saying, hey, I'm drinking some water and it's ice cold and it's at zero degrees Celsius and I know the pH is seven, then you're drinking an acid because 7.472 is neutral. That's pretty cool.